Hi guys, this is GSNO.com and I'm here in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress with the Poco S X, excuse me, Poco X6 Pro. I know it's a mouthful. It's a uh, phone with a flagship processor, the MediaTek Dimensity 8300 Ultra. And uh, coupling that CPU, which is gaming worthy, you also have an AMOLED screen. And this AMOLED screen is quite generous in size. 6.67 inches, 120 hertz refresh rate, which means it's prone for gaming. We actually have a special game center interface here with all, all sorts of tweaks and recommendations for games. Now, aside from the CPU and the screen, I want to talk about the design first a bit. It's an IP54 certified phone for dust and splashes. It's got a flat frame helping with the grip and uh, measures 8.3 millimeters in thickness. It weighs a decent 186 grams. It's got plastic at the back and a plastic frame. Uh, it can also have a silicone back, silicone uh, leather, something like that silicone polymer, echo leather basically. Now, uh, it's running on HyperOS. I should probably stop mentioning that, uh, which is something new for Poco, but something you're going to see very often for uh, Xiaomi phones. Okay, let me just find the settings to actually confirm that. So, uh, in the about, we can see it has Xiaomi HyperOS. So the first Poco phone with Xiaomi HyperOS also has quite a hefty storage, 512 gigabytes of storage. And speaking of storage, HyperOS now takes up less space. Uh, other OSs take up, I don't know, 10 gigabytes, uh, 15, 20. This one, something like 7 or 8 gigabytes, this Hyper OS. Now, the phone itself comes with um, um, other interesting specs. Aside from the large storage, it has a large amount of RAM, 8 or 12 gigs, depending on the version you buy. And storage is quite quality, UFS 4.0. The battery here is also pretty impressive, 5000 milliampere hour with 67 watts wire charge. The price is also decent, 300 euros. And the colors include black, yellow, and gray. This is obviously the gray phone. It draws quite a bit of fingerprints. Now the camera at the back side, since we're here, uh, it's quite uh, solid, at least the main one, 64 megapixel with optical image stabilization, then 8 megapixel ultra wide, and then 2 megapixel macro. At least it shoots 4K video, which was to be expected, uh, considering the processor we have here. Now in this punch hole here, for the selfie shooter, there's a 16 megapixel camera. And people are asking me what's new about this HyperOS. Well, one thing is new for sure, and it's happening in the screen department, wallpaper, lock style. Now the lock style is similar to what we're seeing on iOS or on some Huawei phones. It's better looking with more effects, extra widgets, customizations, and fonts. Speaking of fonts, the new one is called Mi Sans, the one in HyperOS. HyperOS also means interconnectivity with smart home devices and a smart car. Now Xiaomi has a car, the SU7, also unveiled here in Barcelona. By the way, pretty narrow bezels for the screen, which means immersive gaming and also immersive uh, movie watching. We still have the security hub here, even though it's HyperOS and not MIUI, taking care of your scanning, cleaning, network testing, and so much more. Game Turbo is part of the package as well, bumping up your specs and also we have a lot of extra settings here so for me this feels like a mid-range gaming phone on account of the cpu especially and then the screen and then maybe the battery that's it from us from here in barcelona a presentation of the poco x6 pro